The fundamental factor that affects the CBCD image quality is the image artifact. An artifact is any distortion or error in the image that is unrelated to the object or something artificial that appears on the image but is not a part of the tissue being examined. Hi there, I'm Farida. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to the Dental Radiology. Image artifacts in CBCD can be classified according to their etiology, inherent artifacts, procedure related, introduced artifacts, and patient motion artifacts. Today's classification is the book of Widen for Oral Radiology Principles and Interpretation. Inherent artifacts arise from limitation in physical process due to the geometry of the X-ray that is like a cone, reduced trajectory rotational arc, and image reconstruction method of the software. These are the subtitles of the inherent artifacts. Scatter artifact. X-ray photons are diffracted from their original path after interacting with the object. Because CBCD use area detectors, the scanner photons are absorbed and decrease the image quality. We call it quantum noise. So what we see is strict artifacts, or we can have a grayness appearance is like small dots on the image. Cone beam effect or a V artifact occurs because the beam is like a cone and we have divergency of the X-ray beam. When the X-ray rotates, showing two position of the X-ray tube, zero degree and 180 degree, the center parts get maximal amount of data collection by the detector for reconstruction, but the peripheral the amount of data collection is less. The red graph shows the effect of an adequate data in the peripheral that would be in the superior and the inferior. It is seen at the edges or the peripheral portion of the image. The result is striking artifact and noise in the peripheral. Partial volume artifact. This artifact is seen in both CT and CBCT. When one soft tissue is presented in a single voxel, the density that is seen shows the exact density of the soft tissue. When the voxel size is larger than the object, so different tissue density are present in one voxel. So the final density that shows will be an average and not showing the real density. For example, a voxel contains both bone and adjacent soft tissue, but the display is neither bone or soft tissue. Procedure related artifacts contain undersampling artifacts and scanner related artifacts. Under sampling artifact, when we have large interval between projection or the section, and can cause misregistration of the data in the sharp edges, the view we see can be called a lysing artifact. Fine strips appear like radiating from the edges of dense structures like the skull bone. On this CBCD, particularly on the peripheral, we can see fine hypodense and hyperdense strips appear to be radiating from the edges of the bone. It can also be called the Moyer pattern. Circular artifact or ring artifact. If one of the detectors is out of calibration, like we have a bad pixel, the detector will give a consistently reading error at each angulation of the tube, resulting a circular artifact. Introduced artifacts. 
that is the beam hardening artifact contains two categories, cupping artifact and strix and dark bonds. Beam hardening artifact, when X-ray beam passes through a dense object like a crown restoration, lower energy photons are absorbed, but higher energy photons pass through. The mean energy increase so the beam becomes hard and it penetrates. Two types of artifacts can be the result from this effect. Cupping artifact, distortion in the image of metallic structures. X-ray passes through the mid portion of the object and are hardened more than those passing the edges because soft X-ray photons are absorbed more. So we can see the distortion in the image of metallic structures. And we have this strict dark artifact that happens between two dense objects like um, dental implants and dental restoration that we can also call them extinction artifact or missing value artifact. So we have a hard x-ray that can burn that part of our image and manifest as dark streaks between two highly attenuation structures. To reduce the beam hardening artifact, we can reduce the field size or we can modify the patient or we can separate the dental arc to avoid scanning region like dental implants or dental restorations that are metallic. And it's also important to remove metallic objects like jewelry before scanning to reduce the peripheral beam hardening effect that can be superimposed on the region of interest that is being imaged. Motion artifact that would be the patient artifacts due to the patient movement and can cause misregistration of the data and can appear as shading or striking. Uh, we can see double contour of the bones with double strike. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. If it was helpful, please feel free to share it and press that bell button for getting notifications for my next videos. Keep smiling and have an awesome day.